What up, Guru Jojo? Here to give a tarot forecast for the Earth signs in particular. Um, this is Taurus, this is Virgo, this is Capricorn. I'm using four decks for that structure. Angel Oracle, which is tarot. Um, some other type of, oh, this spellcasters. I'm sorry, I forget the names. And then the traditional tarot, Rider Waite. So boom, also got that amethyst rock for that clarity. And um, yeah, we're gonna be um, diving right into the reading. So I'm gonna be starting with Taurus. Um, well, you, you'll see, I, I'm doing my layout in a particular way. Basically the way I'm doing the layout is I'm doing all three signs of the elements, so it's the earth, signs and then i'm going to pick the details um one by one so that's the way i'm going to be structuring this i know you can't see the cards but like in my previous tarot videos i think i've shown enough that um like i feel like i've shown enough details in the previous videos so anyways um taurus uh well this is the angel oracle i'm going to be picking out one card for each of not each, for the earth signs in general. Spirit, please provide me the divine message for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for this New Year's Eve. This is a New Year's Eve special type of reading, but like it can last, you know, longer than just New Year's Eve, probably the whole week. Looks like the world card, card number 21, Archangel Michael. So a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. That's a great card. New structures and coming into a space of being able to go with these new structures rather than hopefully not going against it. Hopefully being able to incorporate it. Maybe you could be the one implementing those new structures. Let's see. We're going to be starting with... Taurus, but I'm going to be picking three cards from the Rider Weight deck first. This is that traditional tarot. So let's see. Spirit, please provide me those divine messages for the Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do they need to know? Oh, Taurus card flipped out quick. It's the Temperance card here. So definitely in a space of balancing your dreams with physical reality so maybe a good sense of timing at this time some patience may be needed let's see virgo spirit what is the very much oh snap oh virgo chill bro what are those divine messages for virgo let's see that was a poor shuffle let's try again This strength card for Virgo. All right, let's see for Capricorn. So, all right, so for Virgos, you could just need to kind of give up, you know, give up a little ego, Virgo. Ugh. Give up a little bit of that ego. Capricorn, you got the Eight of Pentacles, so you could be studying something, research perhaps, or thinking about going back to school, attending a new course or program or study, or just reworking something perhaps. So I'm going to be starting with Taurus first. The Temperance card was received here with this World card as the main divine message for all the Earth signs, and you are an Earth sign. So... You know, there's these new structures coming into order. If you are in control of these structures, then perhaps you just need to kind of have patience. Um, in addition to this, these new structures are going to be aligned with your dreams and whatnot. So the stuff that you like think about having to coming into manifestation right now, there's a great opportunity with the external world to damn yo i always be saying shit extra let me just try to say this straight up yo 
it's just like right now the time is great for you to actually do things that you want to bring that's new that was good I know I'll be talking extra. It's difficult for me sometimes to say it in a mundane way. But that's all I'm trying to say. Like, you know, if you're trying to start something new, it's a good time. It's a good time for that right now. All right, I'm going to get some clarification here for Taurus. Clarification. Taurus Spirit, please provide me the rest of those divine messages for Taurus. All right, Taurus, you got the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign individual. Um, they could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this could be the energy that you're taking on or this person is like influencing your life right now at this time. Um, let's see what else. So if you need to take on this vibration, um, then this requires you to be empathetic and also be able to provide some sort of like guidance. So like, you know, be helpful and empathetic by maybe communicating with um, the person about like whatever it is um, that they're going through or just being able to be in tuned with others on a more deep level and you know, nurture that energy. But with this world card coming in, there could be like a new way of you doing that perhaps. The sun card. So you're definitely feeling a sense of vitality, but I'm also seeing that you feel like almost like I'm getting like, you feel like your world is lit up right now. So I'm seeing, you know, you could be interested in a love partner, but it's a very dreamy vibe right now. Right now, it's not really so real. Like, you know, you kind of can see it happening, but it ain't happening yet right now. At the same time, there could be some attention being lent to you, maybe by this type of person with the sun card that you received here. I'm just feeling a sense of things are moving slow, but I'm not disappointed. I feel quite good about this. Like, wow, there's some light being shed on this. Like people could see it. I could see it. It's pretty clear. It's not at the level I want it yet, but you know, I still feel a sense of balance. You could be entertaining new things at this time as well with the sun card here. So that's for... Um, Taurus, all right? So now I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be doing Virgo next. All right, so Virgos, remember you got the Strength card here with the World card. So there is some sort of new structures coming into play. And there's a need for you to kind of maybe... In order to move forward in that path, there's like a need for you to be a little bit more open and less nitpicky. So, you know, if you have issues with trust, if you have issues with um, connecting with other people, um, giving, you know, opportunities to other people or something like that, it's necessary for you to kind of like, like let that go maybe and actually like... Don't try to be like the, like, don't try to be like, do everything or something like that. It's like something where you got to kind of let go and just allow, you know, things to kind of come into play or something like that. So let's see. Let's see what else is going to be going on. Let me get some clarifications for that. All right. For Virgo spirit, what are the rest of the divine messages that the zodiac sign of Virgo needs to receive at this time? Virgo sun sign, Virgo moon sign, Virgo rising. King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign individual, Aries. You could be dealing with a Sag or Leo. So basically... 
this could also be the energy that you're taking on right now. So you're quite assertive um, in your passions right now as it relates to the creation of um, a new world, of um, a new, the new age basically is what I see it as. Um, so let's get some more information here. Oh, two cards fell out. I'm going to take them. So anyways, you also received this Ten of Pentacles here and the Queen of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups, you could be dealing with a water sign individual, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this could be yourself. And also the Ten of Pentacles here, you're dealing with legacies, long-term businesses, old money, growth, um, connections through work that provide a long-term sense of stability um, and growth. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing for... Um, Virgos just requires you to have to work with other people. Maybe you're not used to doing that or something because you just kind of only trust yourself. Um, but this requires you to have the inner strength to actually feel like you can trust others or that you can connect with others, especially in areas that has to do with responsibilities, work, business, okay, business endeavors in particular. Also, you could be dealing with family matters too the structures of family matters, but I'm seeing mostly work and business, okay? If you are interested in someone in love, it looks like it's a water sign individual, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces type of person, very dreamy type of person, imaginative, um, very empathetic. These people usually could take on your emotions and feelings or something, but not on those, not on the um, lower vibration only, but like these people, they generally do it in a, they do it in a way that has good intentions, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but there's a fire sign person too that may not, I don't want to say they may not have the best intentions. It's the card that's messing me up. Like I looked at the guy's face in the card, but this energy in general just is a person who has um, a creative willpower. They could be a self-starter in some way. This could be you or somebody else around you. That's what I'm seeing for Virgos. So I'm going to be jumping into um, Capricorn. So Capricorn's next. All right, Caps. Y'all received. I'm just moving the card so that I don't pull them out um, for the other signs. It just makes sense in my head to do this this way. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Like, don't worry. So anyways. Um, for Capricorn, you received this Eight of Pentacles here with the World card. All right, so definitely for this new world energy, you're trying to learn something new and add some structure to it. You could also be starting up a program perhaps, or you could be connected to some sort of new course, new field of study, research. You could be researching something. You could be researching about the new world or something like that. Um, the new age, I meant to say. So that's what I'm pretty much seeing at this time for Capricorn. I'm going to be getting some clarifications, but I want to start with this deck first as I did the others. So yeah. What are the rest of those divine messages that the zodiac sign of Capricorn? Sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign shall receive at this time. Um, Eight of Pentacles also too. You could be reworking something. Like maybe there's a need for you to redo your business plan. Redo something to do with your... Whatever thing you use for your profession. Some people have resumes. Some people have websites. Some people have like LinkedIn and stuff like that. Like this is that Eight of Pentacles energy too. You may have to like restructure it in some way. Especially considering the world card that was also received here. Five of Wands. Conflicts of interest. So with this reworking energy, with this restructuring energy, there's some sort of competitive vibe. So you may feel like you can't compete with certain things. And that's not true. It's just the way that you're looking at it. It's the way you're looking at it. So... Um, see, the main problems with Capricorns is that Capricorns like to stick to what they know and they have like a difficult time sometimes, um, trying new things. Like 
Everybody else could be doing something new and Capricorns could be still stuck on the same crap. Um, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but that's oftentimes what happens. It's like, yo, we learned algebra two years ago. Like, we done. We're moving on to calculus, boo-boo. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how I feel about that. And, and the thing is, I don't know if this is definitely true because I'm not good at math, but let's say it's true. Algebra is in calculus. Do you get it? We don't have to stay with algebra because there's a next level called calculus that incorporates algebra in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the best way I can explain that. What are the rest of the divine messages I shall? I don't know why I just said I shall, but all right. Seven of Pentacles here. So that's a weird thing. You went from Eight of Pentacles to the Seven. So maybe you have to remove something in order to get back to something. But the timing of things is not really um, in your best favor. Here's the good news, though. You have the willpower to actually get things done at this time because it's going to be so annoying that you're going to end up doing something about it. Interestingly enough, these cards have a very similar appearance, as you can see. Like, if you look at this Eight of Pentacles card, it's, like, very similar to this. The difference is that this is gemstones and crystals. So, I don't know if that helps. Maybe you got to incorporate some gemstones and crystals. I've been doing that, but that's not the point. That's not the point. It's not about me. What I'm trying to say is that you may be trying to nurture something that's going to have more longevity. So your conflict is that you kind of keep doing things over and over again, but you never really grow because you're too afraid. Like this card is connected to Taurus energy. Like um, it's connected to Taurus. It's, it's connected to feeling fixated on something and not really like moving forward because of the value of what you already have and what you already know works and like that's cool but like it's time to go to school and learn something new so that you can actually be connected to the new age that is coming in Regardless if you like it or not, you should like it because it's actually great because you can incorporate what you already know with something that something new that can grow. And it's just right now you feel like a conflict of interest. I'm trying to pick up on these frequencies right now to figure out why you feel this conflict of interest. The only thing I could think of is that you've been trying to grow this thing for the longest. You just keep doing the same thing over and over again, growing this thing, growing this thing, growing this thing. It's not coming out to how you want it to be. And now you have an opportunity to do some research, but there's some sort of like conflict. I think there's a lot of competitors in whatever it is that you're trying to learn, whatever it is that you're trying to research, whatever it is that you're trying to rework. It's like some people trying to go to a school that's, has a heavy competition rate, like, you know, only like 10% of the students that apply get in, things like that. That's what I'm seeing for Capricorn. So I hope this reading was helpful and, um, I wish you the best blessings, light, and love always. And be careful during this New Year's Eve. Please be careful. All right. Love and light spreading out to you. Knowledge.